and Jersey's about to step on <laughs> a She thinks tool. she's got to help at everything. Or not tool, it's a preform. Pretty nice preform, too. It is a nice, thin preform. Well, all they had to do was put some mirrors in that thing. How thin that is. What is wrong with them? Why couldn't they got your ears for you? Wouldn't that have been nice? Yeah, that would have been one of them big ear dudes. Still a little muddy out here. A couple of puddles. A little bit. But that's a good start to the day. I think that's what uh, your third third sifter bucket, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I've got not. Tell them, Josie. Tell them. The base. Look at that. That was so beautiful. I mean, it still ain't terrible, but it's terrible that the tip's gone. <laughs> <laughs> terrible that the tip's gone. Oh, man. Hopefully we can find one with the tip today. Now get your hand cold and wash that off. I am going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell that I'm failed. Make me get my hand all wet. Oh, yeah. Well, luckily it ain't like 20 degrees like it was that day. No, it's a little warmer. Oh, man. Yeah, I can tell it's beautiful. Would Just city church. Color on this. Oh my goodness! <sighs> Look at that. <sighs> Man. Why couldn't they have just two little bitty pressure flakes? They could have got my got tip on there. Ground edges too. It's an older sedalia. It's a pretty one. Yes, it is. And over here, on the A screen, <laughs> the A screen, <laughs> you watch out, Jersey. We still walk right over there. There's a big old Etley. Look at that. Oh. Missing this a little bit of tip. Really missing a little tip. Well, you just pushed me right out of the way. Look at that, my face. That's a pretty Etley. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty happy with that. Boy, I wish I had a needle tip on it. Probably did once upon a time. Four inches. And we keep on trying. A little bit of dirt left. Last buckets. Ready? <laughs> Sit. Speak. No. Speak easy. Speak easy, speak easy. Go get. She'll do that all day long. Well, going through her second bucket. Broken base of a preform flies out. And then a nice three little three and gently falls out. Eh, three and a quarter maybe. Looks like it's all there too. Looks like a nice one. But I'm not sticking my hand not in the yet. water and getting it wet and Come cold. On. No. Good no. job, Mike. Way to get us started. Look missing this. missing the base. I got one over here. Well, Easily. what's nice is when you got the worst diggers in the world going through some dirt and just missing all this. This is all pre dug dirt. You do understand what displaced pre dug dirt means, don't you? I mean somebody else already dug it. So don't do like that guy did on the last comment and go judging and think you know something and have to get blocked. <laughs> <laughs> because I will block you. I don't All care. Right. And on that word. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Back. Well, we don't film a lot of tools. But like a nice one, though. I've been told, I've had a f few people say got super nice ads. So that's what that is. First, I thought maybe it was a preform, but I'm pretty sure it's a really nice ads. This site has produced some really super duper ads over the years. And I've gave probably most all of them away. Mr. Mike is found. I didn't even have to brush any dirt away. Just, had to, there. just had to walk over here and look. That's gonna be killer. She is killer. Look at that. She ain't a big one. Three and a quarter, but man, yeah. She's killer. Classic. Tip and all. Classic shape. 
Yep. Awesome possum. You ought to get your hands wet for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Shark bite arrowhead. Can you believe that? James Larson, how does that happen? Yeah, James, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Well, I just had another one slide out of the pile, of course. That's why we got the cameras on. It's the only time we turn the camera on. Oh, I oh, lost yeah. it. Oh, there it is. It's so covered in dirt, I actually had to feel it. I watched him pick it up. And then, check this out. It has a bulbous base on it. Oh, that's well, an Adena. <laughs> no, no Adena's up here. Oh, dang it. Look at that. Boy, he's a, a thin to win son of a gun, ain't he? Yeah. Well, congratulations there. Can you believe uh, that? It might be a little bit broke, but it's hard to tell. What do you think, Jersey? So much dirt on it. You got a dirty nose like usual. Eating dirt. Well. Double trouble here. I'm telling you. <laughs> we both got sedalias today. Man, he just Check. pulled the sedalia off his table. And I just pulled one off here. But it had the tip broke. gone. Look at that. This one don't have no tip gone. No, and that, look how nicely and made is that so, is. So thin. Man, thin to win. Look at that. Mm, that's killer. Crazy. What about Woo! my needs? <laughs> what about my sedalia needs? Man, <laughs> I'm gonna go I'll reach down inside the dirt. My second handful, and that popped out. Literally. Literally. <laughs> literally <laughs> popped out of here. Actually, <laughs> literally, two words you should never have to use. Let me just pick this up for us. That's look, killer. Look at that. Unbelievable. We were over here deciding if we want to go any, keep any farther today. Because our last two buckets didn't even hardly have a flake in it. Which, it's pre-dug dirt. And that's so pre-dug dirt. That's why you kind of go this through way. all of it. Man, how do you miss stuff like that? And it's so crazy. We've pulled out <laughs> hundreds of points out of here. Oh, my. 100 pound boxes of brokes. <laughs> boxes, not a 100 pound box. 100 boxes. pound boxes of brokes. Look how little that is. <clears throat> and then along comes a killer. Yep, I didn't even get excited for this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who are you trying to light to? Hoop the holler around. Yeah. Look at this. Come on. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, oh, doggone it. it so How do you miss something that long? Oh, oh, thank God they missed it, though. My gosh. Why well, couldn't that have had its tip? Mm. Mm. Doggone. What a day. What, a <laughs> what about my last? Where's my last point? Where's my last killer? Where's that? Hey, Muddy Mouth. Hey, you guys see how muddy your mouth oh, is. Oh, darn it, Mike. I thought we had it the way it kept going. Mm, me too. <laughs> I think we got a live action in the bucket. Film that right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that live action, huh? Back up, Jersey. Hey, come, Jersey, come. Come. Up here again today, going through some dirt. Second, second screen. And there it is. Nice little atlee. Actually, I got a preform over there too, but it's kind of nicking the blade edge. That's a pretty nice atlee, actually. Shoot you out. Dang, look at you go. Got the day started. They sure are muddy. Our dirt sticky up here. Best way to get the day started. Right there. Check out Miss Muddy Mouth. Just seen her yesterday. Look at him, he's on a roll, folks. Oh, yes. First an arrowhead, now he's got him a drill. Oh, that is a... What? That is a different type of little drill for up here, isn't it? Oh yeah, that side's like all uniface or something. On that side. Maybe a little edge work. Huh. Well, a little perforator awesome point there. or something. 
Yeah, see what she does? She'll do this all day long. She actually drugged this back up here. She'll, if you get a bunch of sticks, she'll come by and fight it off. Then you can throw it down and she'll drag it back up. But she thinks she's helping you. So what she does is help. Well, I'm finally getting to a clean up. Um, pretty decent couple of days. <clears throat> a whole a camp array line. right here. From some whole preforms. Just didn't get it finished. Didn't put the ears in it. So you got a big hack on the side of it. But it's old. It's got all kinds of mineral deposits in it. Mm, some nice ads. Check this one out. That might show the colors better. I'm sure my brown carpet don't help, but it's 50 outside today, and it really is difficult to just pick up <laughs> a bunch of rocks and take them all outside all the time. And there's snake skin stipple right there. So, was this a rough preform for a sedalia? Has that shape to it, don't it? Look at this one right here. That's in the shape of a sedalia. Anciently broke, but still needed way thinned down to make a good sedalia. Just city chair at its finest. Because here's a snakeskin stipple. Sedalia base, and I can show you all kinds of them that I have that are just bases. And piles of knives, heartbreakers, <laughs> but just camp life. Really not heartbreakers. I mean, I guess it's a heartbreaker if a tractor breaks it, you know, <clears throat> or if a person breaks it. Modern person, present day person, when it, when it was anciently broke. Are some of these, like this one here, broken from use and then trying to thin it down by pulling off new percussion flakes or broke from twisting around some bones and they just decided to chuck it? That's the kind of stuff we'll never know. <laughs> Look at her, she sits on my foot. <laughs> she likes to sit on my foot. There's a nice piece of snakeskin stipple. Had a blunted tip, translucent edge. Some other tools. There's midsections. There's nothing but bases. This is all broken preforms here. Well, this here's like a. Uh, I'd have to call it a just a burst stage biface, really. It's got outer core left on it. Some nasty hinges in it. This here would have made a beautiful point. Just absolutely would have made a beautiful point if it wouldn't have broke on them. Oh, this is in the wrong pile. This one here is actually an ads. You can see the bit edge right there. The bit edge on that side. And this is just exactly how they left it. Mm, I got the sads. Another ads. Their most preferred tool. We have a tip section. See, and all that stuff, it all goes in the eight sight boxes just as. Midsections, bases, broken preforms, tips. Almost broken knives. This tip. That come off a, a really nice made point. Great material too. And then there's this one. 
Just a little corner of the base, a little bit of tip. This one here. The old snap base. Nope, just broke. <laughs> no reason to snap a base to stick it in a knife. And that's a beautiful point there. Just absolutely has an A side on each side. That had the base, you go flip back back and forth in your case forever. Then there was this guy. Which this is gonna make the eighth or ninth bulbous base Etley that I've pulled from there. And that's not including everybody else's that has a bulbous base, a round base. And you can go back and watch old cucumber videos where everybody was calling them fairy points. And yeah, there is a fairy point in the book, but most of the time, that's what they are right there. It's nothing more than an Etley with a bulbous base on it. This is just a little perforator guy. Couldn't even call this a drill. Because look at this side. It's just as flat as could be. But definitely sharpened down. A bunch. But were they cutting with it? Or were they using it as a perforator? Because those edges don't feel like any wear to them whatsoever. And that was a pretty good eventful time. Oh, I almost forgot this piece right here. Nice piece of hematite. That's just barely starting to work it. See all the red in there? <laughs> Hi, Jersey. Hi, Jersey. Hi, Jersey girl. <laughs> yes, she's always up in me. Yes, she's an attention getter. And that killer right there. That's a dandy. Beautiful motlin pattern on both sides. Which actually the motlin pattern is one of the seven varieties of Jefferson City Church, but it always comes more in your blue, grays, and whites mixed together than any others. It's just like that there. <clears throat> And except for my side, I've never seen banded snakeskin stipple, banded conglomeratic from any place else. You seen that killer sedalia Richard found like that. And I have some other broken banded conglomeratic pieces. Alright, we'll get off here. We're hitting eight minute cleanup. I bored you all to death. You know, it's a shame, too, that my uh, my live video cut short 13 minutes on me. I kept talking. Because there really was a lot of good stuff yet to come. You know, it's just like, you know, one of the most important things I think I said that got cut off is, you know, it's always to each their own. But really, who are we to judge other people that we do not know personally and know them well when just think of the people that you have known well over the years and you think they're one way but they turn out to be another way and where people can just think they're going to, they should believe all the one word of one person. You don't do that with most people you know, really, in reality in life. Jersey, come on. I'm trying to talk here. So, you know, for people to throw just blank hate around at each other when you know nothing about whatever their situation is or what's really happening without you knowing them in detail or knowing the details it's wrong there's no moral compass to it there's no integrity to it none whatsoever and I'll never follow anybody like that because I know where my moral compass is always headed it is always in the right direction 
Yeah. Well, heck, now we're on 10 minutes clean up. We'll get off here, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Mm -hmm.